and even the uh, electrics and alarm has been uh, tampered with and got out. So I don't know if you recall one of my videos, I did a just a quick uh, update about all the uh, sort of the payment breaking up and that's, that was near the, uh, the promenade and it looks like it's breaking up just near St John's um, Square as well. So I don't know what's, uh, what's going on with, uh, with that, but yeah, it's another one all rising. So I'm just going to take this uh, this route into uh, into town. And you can see the uh, you know sort of give Blackpool Council that. Um, you can see the uh, street cleaners there, and literally all sorts of uh, times of the day, they do a fantastic job cleaning cleaning the uh, the rubbish up, which is uh, which is great. So uh, Ramsden's currency pawnbroker. So that used to be the old uh, game shop. So it looks like there's a, a new shop, new pawnbrokers coming to town as well. So we're just going to have a, a bit of a walk up near um, Central Pier. Um, there's not much, too much going on at the Comedy Carp. It is very early in the morning. Um, but we're going to also visit Papa's Fish and Chips as well. Um, that shop. So there's a bit of a fire yesterday. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll show you a bit of a clip now. And as you can see, um, all the fire brigade and everything come out yesterday, um, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't the best. But they quickly put it under control. And yeah, so we're just gonna have a, a bit of a walk up near Central Pier, have a look at what's going around. So uh, yeah, let's get let's get going. So we just uh, pop back to uh, Papa's Fish and Chips, and you can see it's uh, all closed up, but the lights are still on. It's a bit of a strange one. So. Um, Mr. Blackpool, aka Walk on the Wild Side, he did pop in my uh, comments, which was uh, very kind of him, that it's actually going to be closed for a minimum of two weeks. So he said he spoke to a few members of staff, and uh, yeah, he's going to be uh, closed for a couple of weeks. So, like, if you haven't seen that video, I'll pop that in the description as well. It is on the channel. Um, go and have a, a bit of a watch as well. So it, was, uh, it wasn't the best. So this is a this is a great little uh, spot for uh, tourists and locals, and it always gets uh, heaving along this bit. So I think this is the last bit of a uh, last bit of beach to get covered by the um, by the sea. And you can see you got the uh, the big wheel in the uh, in the distance there. So you can see everybody's gathering around that tiny little bit of beach that's left. So it's only a matter of time before the uh, the sea covers that one. It's, uh, it's always great to see uh, to see Blackpool busy. You see that last little bit of beach is nearly covered, so uh, they're making the most of it, everybody. And there's the uh, debt chairs if you do want to to hire one. Uh, I think they're three pound to hire. Central Pier is in full swing with people going in, walking on the pier and all the rides. And uh, there's another one there, like a little bouncy castle for the kids. And uh, you can see the uh, big one still going round. So who remembers Happy Days amusement? So this is a bit underrated it's all tucked away but yeah it's uh, another great little uh, great little amusements so straight ahead is uh, chris's one pound burger so i've never been in there never tried it so let me know in the comments if you have uh, tried that one so we're just on chapel street just pops onto chapel street you can see there's several little shops uh, along here most of them are, are cafes but there is a uh, a few sadly closed up it's not a, an area really what gets uh, busy anymore which is just near the uh, just near the courts so just near the family courts now you see the uh, car park has all been blocked off due to vandalism and kids coming in here 
and uh, I'll just show you as well you can see um, if you can see I'll just uh, zoom in a little bit so you can actually see all the uh, windows at the top have all been smashed as well so no wonder they've uh, blocked all this off and even the uh, electrics and alarm has been uh, tampered with and got out so i hope you're enjoying this video so far um we've covered quite a bit um so there is a, a little bit going on in town everyone seems to be enjoying themselves so this is just a bit of a warning for uh, any chances and anybody thinking of uh, investigating or seeing what's going on in the uh, police station and uh, family court so you can see it's uh, like i mentioned before it's all boarded up so uh, yeah just a bit of a warning it is riddled in asbestos which is uh, very very dangerous for you um, so I'll pop in a link all about asbestos as well. So just think twice. That's uh, that's what I'm saying uh, Think twice about even attempting um, to get in there, which you're not allowed to do um, So yeah, it's full of asbestos. So uh, keep well clear So jumps up near central drive So we've covered this in uh, many videos. So we're not going to uh, pay too much attention to this but you can see uh, a lot of the places are sadly boarded up so it's walking a, a little bit further um, on Central Drive and you can see shop after shop is uh, closed down, shutters down, what's left of the shutters, a lot of them are, are all rusty and uh, degrading. So wouldn't it be nice if, you know, so the, this got regenerated, this area, because it used to be really popular, you know, many years ago. You don't get a lot of uh, people walking up here which is probably why it's, um, it's been let go. But yeah, wouldn't it be lovely if uh, all this area got regenerated? So just a quick update on this one as well. Who remembers this one? Uh, Shazon, or Sh yes, Shazron, um, sort of Hotel B&B, which got burnt down by a, a cannabis grow. So you can see the scaffolding is up and uh see the uh, window is all black still so there's not really much work being uh, done to this one so you see the uh, albert and the lion he's nice and busy on this uh, lovely day so just near the uh, blackpool tower you can see uh, everyone's uh, queuing up so there must be uh, an event or something going on today at the tower and it's a uh, fantastic scene fantastic scene blackpool Just so busy so just having a bit of a stroll past shanigans and yates is on the uh, on the promenade side you can see it's a uh, nice and busy in there we got the uh, flags out I think uh, England's playing Tuesday, I believe, next, their next home game, or next game, shall I say. So I hope you enjoyed that, a uh, bit of a walk around today in Blackpool. So there's a few things going on, um, but not too much going on, if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, if you do like the uh, video and other videos we do, uh, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button. Don't cost anything to keep up to date with all the latest videos and give the uh, video a like so uh, that'll be uh, greatly appreciated so i'm just going to leave you with a bit of a, a bike display um on this uh, great day so yeah until next time take care and it's a uh, bye from me yeah. so, uh, some of the uh, some of these bikes are absolutely fantastic look at that one agent double os so uh they do have a uh, little uh, meetings every so often with uh, with these bikes and uh, they are some incredible machines